Welcome. Scott here. Here is a quick boss guide for a new character event, Guardian of the Crystal for Dorgan from Final Fantasy V. The event marks the character debut of Dorgan and he will be getting his FR and C90 Awakening. The event synergy units are Dorgan, Lys, Galove and Celis. All event characters will be getting their force enhancements. Lys has already gotten her rework already in Global. So you can test her out if you have her kit. We will be fighting two Unbound which has 85 million each. There are no major resistances. The turn requirement is 65. The HP requirements is 5000. Before I continue further, here is a small disclaimer clause for the video. The guide is written based on the time that the event was released for the Japanese version. Please do note that it is possible that the boss fight mechanics might differ when the actual event is released in global. Like most other Shinryu fights, the boss gains increased brave damage and gain resistances at start of the fight and 79% HP threshold. Bringing a support like Luna Freya, Shirlata, Aerith, Ramza, Selfa that grants damage boosting aura will make your fight easier. As the boss gains substantial boost to their defenses with the auras, it is important to inflict debuffs that lower their defenses. For this month, five of the events will feature a form of elemental lockout. Throughout the fight, the bosses resist all elements except for wind, ice, and non-elemental attacks. Non-elemental attacks will be resisted once the force gauges reach 50% and above. You can still bypass this with Brave Cap Damage or Rainbow, Brave Gains mechanics like Kate Sith or Sheer Lotta or Brave Retention mechanics like Snow BT. On the screen, I have list down the examples of the key utility that you can consider for this fight. As mentioned earlier, the boss will have 999% Brave Damage resistance against all elements except for Ice, Wind, and Non-Elemental. Non-elemental attacks will be resisted by 50% once the boss force gauge reaches 50% and above. To avoid the issue, you can bring either ice or wind elemental units for the fight. You can bring party wind enchanters like Bartz and Fujin or Celis, Luna Freya, Karase Mei, Snow, or Onion Knight for ice. The boss could inflict a potent 80% attack down debuff with its shadow ball attack. If you can, Try to bring a debuff evasion unit support like Aerith, Lena, Afma, or Selfie. Do note that Selfie only provides 70% debuff evasion with her wall buff. Alternatively, you can choose to evade their attacks with evasion units like Galove or Aid. Since the boss can reset their break status when their force time is up, counter tanks like Orin, Galove, and Gladio are useful here. Off turn damage units like Dorgan, Kor, Maria, Freya, and Kane will help in abundance with the turn count. This fight will perfectly showcase the strengths of Dorgan. As we are no longer have Lufania plus fights, the boss guide will be focused primarily on Shinryu fights. In Shinryu, you need to understand the effects gained by the boss as the force gauge build up, its force ability and its force time effect. As your party has low force levels, it is highly certain that the boss force gauge will build up faster than yours. To have a better understanding on the basics of the force gauge mechanics and Shinryu fights, I have done a video explaining the mechanics. I have included the link to the video under the comments and video description for your quick reference. Throughout the fight, the boss will gain 999% brave damage against all elements except for ice, wind, or non-elemental attacks. The boss force gauge has another threshold at the 50% mark. When the boss gauge is more or equal to 50, the boss will gain 50% brave damage resistance against non-elemental damage as well. The boss force gauge will build up faster as its HP is lowered. You can refer to the table on the screen for the percentages. At the 100% threshold, the boss will use its force ability, Grudge Howl Plus and activates its force time for 4 turns. The boss force ability, Grudge Howl Plus, will result the boss recovers from break, deal an AOE Brave plus HP attack the boss will gain a 10 turn evocation buff. The evocation buff will allow the boss gain access to 1% HP Regan, which equates to 850k per turn, 
and the boss will gain an instant turn when your party members act. The buff will get dispel upon break. Upon using the force ability, the boss will enter into its force time where the gauge will start to emit a red hue with a counter of 4 on its gauge. When the force time is activated, the bosses will gain an enhancement that results boss gains 300% boost to its HP damage and its brave will reset back 20,000 after they get broken. To deal the boss force weakness, you need to use a melee wind force ability which is Dorgan's FR. Doing this will result the boss to cancel its player max brave down aura that it triggers at the start of the fight. You can also deal force weakness with another melee FR like Tifa, Kor, Ursula, Gabrinth, Vayne, or Arthen with wind enchant call. You can enchant the party with Fujin. Barts and Elisai LD enchant the caller. Now let's go through the fight key mechanics. Similar to the previous fight, the fight doesn't have any dangerous mechanics to watch out for. At the start of the fight, the boss will activate its player max brave down aura which will reduces your party max brave by a whopping 400%. Effectively it will reduce your max damage output to a quarter. To eliminate the effect, you need to deal its force weakness by using a melee wind FR. Other than Dorgan, you can use Kor, Tifa, Ursula, Gabrinth, Vayne, or Arthen with a wind enchant call. Now let's focus on the boss basic attack rotations. Generally, the boss will start off with Shadow Ball before it follows up with Grudge Howl and rotates between the two abilities. The attack will hit significantly harder during its force time. Make sure you have damage mitigation abilities to handle them. Shadow Ball is an AoE ranged Brave plus HP attack. It will inflict a framed 80% attack down debuff on all allies for 5 turns. Grudge Howl is a single target ranged Brave plus HP attack. It will grant the boss 2 framed buffs, a 10% turn rate up buff and 50% brave damage resistance buff for 5 turns. Here are some tips that I can offer for the fight. The fight is designed to the strengths of Dorgan. None of the boss attacks are guaranteed hit. Evasion tank will have a nice field day for this fight. Glove and 8 are great here. Off turn attackers like Core, or trap units like Emperor, Ace, Maria are great here as well. Edge and Leela could work here for the defensive utility but their damage will get hampered unless you have means to handle them. Dorgan can mitigate the boss attacks with his EX attack. Camelot is also a great option here for his nice FR bonuses as long as you meet his three criteria of ice, launch and turn disable. Keep their brave constantly low, holds the keys to an easy victory. If you are bringing him, Dorgan can spam lots of off-turn break thus he will always keep the bosses broken. Units like Vayne, Arthen, Noel, and Arania who rely on breaks will have a nice field day here. As long as you are able to delay break the boss, rebreakers will have an easy day for the fight. The boss can inflict a potent attack down debuff, it is best to bring a debuff evasion unit if you are doing a hit and counter run. If you have him fully geared, Dorgan can solo the fight on his own. We have come to the last part of the guide. The recommended FR units for this fight are Dorgan or any melee FR that you use with a wind enchant call or wind enchanter. Examples of melee FR are Tifa, Kor, Vayne, Gabrinth, Ursula and Arthen. Cancelling that player max brave down aura will make a fight in an easy route. Constantly upkeeping ice or wind enchant for this fight is important to avoid elemental lockout. Non-elemental units will face 50% brave damage resistance once the boss force gauge reaches 50% and above. Before I end the guide, let's cover a bit on the featured FR unit, Dorgan. Before I continue to talk about his FR, let's talk a bit on his basic kit. Dorgan is a third utility unit that pairs with a lot of team comps. He can be deployed as follow-up attacker or offer supplementary damage in trap or counter and off-turn setup. You need his base kit to make him to trigger lots of countless off-turn attack with his image slash plus. As long as you initiate a break, Dorgan will use his image slash plus off-turn attack. Image slash plus is AoE brave plus HP attack. If Dorgan breaks a target with his image slash plus, he will follow up with another image slash plus. 
As long as you can trigger breaks, you can see multiple image slash plus. Image slash plus also triggers during a counter break or a break triggered by a trap. His S1 is a nifty instant break AOE Brave plus HP attack. It inflicts his frame debuff, Don Spell Blade. His S2 is a single target Brave plus HP attack with 50% splash damage that grants his basic buff, with precious memories. His EX will allow you select a unit to move their turn after Dorgan followed by an unbreak and AOE Brave plus HP attack. It will inflict the one turn felling timber debuff which will set the boss brave and HP attack to zero. This is very useful for its damage mitigation utility. Dorgan EX is a fast recast skill so you can maintain this debuff quite often. His LD is an unbreak AOE brave plus HP with 20% splash attack and grants his third eye buff. It will recovers one ability use of his S1 and S2. The buff along with Don spell blade debuff active, will results Dorgan to unbreak a target after any ability use. So overall, he is a very fun character to play with and pairs well as a follow-up attacker or deploy in an off-turn setup. Now let's talks about his weakness. He has no brave gains in his kit and it is very reliant on his brave damage and you can't abuse his follow-up against bosses that are immune to break or have a max brave floor. As he is able to trigger break pretty often, you can slot a vanilla sphere so you can give him some nice dispelling utility. He excels a lot when pairing with single target attackers like Defa or abuse his break conditions with Sephiroth BT Aura. You can also pair him with Core or a counter tank like the love for some off turn damage shenanigans. Let's go through the force conditions. Upon activating his FR, Dorgan will raises the party HP damage and limit by 30% as long as they are attacking a broken target. Dorgan will unbreak any enemy during his force time. You will gain 20% HP damage bonus for attacking a broken target. You will gain 5% for dealing wind damage for other allies. Dorgan will uptick the HP damage bonus by 25%. The trigger applies for off turn attacks from traps, follow up or counters. It can be triggered multiple times during a single turn. Let me illustrate you with an example. If you are fight two bosses, Tifa breaks a target, you will get 25%. Dorgan will do image slash plus which will add another 25%. If the image slash plus breaks the boss target, you will get another 25% because Dorgan will use another image slash plus. So in total, you can get 75% per turn. In other words, the more breaks you trigger will result more image slash plus follow up and thus more HP damage bonus boost. You can abuse this FR by using Sephiroth BT Aura since his BT Aura will set boss brave to one which allows you to gain free breaks off turn with a follow up attacker like Kane or Yang. As Dorgan FR doesn't provide wind enchant, you will need to sacrifice a call slot for wind enchant or you can bring his sun barts for his auras and party wide wind enchant. With this, I have come to the end of my boss guide presentation. Hopefully you find it useful. If you like the video, please give a like. Please subscribe to my channel for future gaming content. Good luck for the fight tomorrow. Bye.